There's a fundamental difference between values and culture. And a lot of people, a lot of organizations, businesses uh, that I help get confused between values and culture. To have clear values does not mean you also have a clear culture. Values are our beliefs and culture is our behavior that is the expression of those beliefs. Which means that, which means that the establishing of values is the easy part of, of what we do in life. The values are, I believe this, this and this, that's good to identify those, but the, the culture is the expression, the implementation, the application of those values. So you might say, well, you know, uh, we have a value of transparency or a value of people first or a value of service. Well, the only way we know whether that's true is if when we step into your organization or we buy something from you or we attend your church or whatever it may be, that that is what we feel. We feel that that is the norm of the behavior of your organization. That I feel served, that I, that I feel that you are open and accountable and uh, transparent. That I feel that people matter more than things, if that's your value, um, but not your behavior then it is simply something you have in a vision statement or the branding on your website. But for it to be the culture, it has to now become the behavior of everyone that is involved in the carrying of those values. Many organizations have great value statements, but when you do business with them, that is the last thing you would think were the values. Um, and the way you know the values is not by what you tell us the values are. The way you can understand the values is by having a cultured experience in that restaurant or in that business or with that political party or in that church or the organization. The way, you, the, un, the way that you understand what the values are isn't by reading the values, but is by having a cultural, behavioral encounter with them. Um, and so you'll all know experiences where this is our values, we're here to serve and we're here to you know, look after you and give good feedback and good communication or to empower you or believe in your potential. And then what you feel is none of that is present in the people you dealt with on the phone or the people you dealt with in a certain scenario because it's easy to establish the value, the belief, here's what we believe. But all the hassle, all the drama, all the hard work, <laughs> all the inconvenience happens when you try to make the values the behavior or the culture. So don't get confused between values and culture. One is what we believe, that's good. But the other is what, how we behave. And that's where what's good becomes outstanding. If you have a value that you can't make a behavior, then it will never be your culture. And you can't claim it has been your culture. And culture matters far more than your values do. Your values can say anything, but if you can't, if you can't produce that in terms of a cultural behavior, it's worthless. You can claim anything to be your value, but if you can't make that the behavioral norm of your organization and your team, your business, your church or whatever, then the value is really just words on a page, words on a screen. So values, and culture, beliefs and behaviors, two different things. A bit of wisdom for life there. To realize the difference, make sure they're both the same thing. If you want to build a great organization, make sure your values and your culture are the same.